the Suns filled that point guard void with Tyus Jones this offseason. So let's push it forward here, David. Do you think the Suns are now a complete team? I don't know if they're a complete team because they have some defensive things they have to work on, but I do think that this team uh, offensively has fixed a major, major problem, which is okay. the turnovers. They just added Tyus Jones and Monte Morris. Is, you know, those guys do not turn the ball over. Tyus Jones is the best uh, assist to turnover ratio that we've seen since they've started doing turnovers, right? So this team is going to be a lot better offensively. They were top two in the league with offensive efficiency when they just had those three guys playing without a point guard. So now teams are going to have to outscore them and I think that their ceiling is as high as anybody else in the West okay I'm gonna say what my mama used to say when I was arguing with her which is okay Malika so what in a crowded conference what exactly does a complete team mean for Phoenix Brian I want to believe what Bradley was saying and I'll also add that they were arguably the worst fourth quarter team in the modern era. So they won 49 games with Beal missing 30, <laughs> playing horribly in the fourth quarter, so bad that I couldn't even explain why it was that bad. So they changed the coach, and they had a point guard. In theory, as Beal was saying there, they should be a lot better. But I'm just... I'm, I'm not sure I want to go in with this team because I did last year. I kept saying they're going to figure it out. They're going to figure it out. In the end, they did not figure it out. So there's sort of these couple of teams at the top of the West, these three or four teams, and then this bulk of teams that's together. I think they have a chance to emerge from that, but I'm going to wait until they actually do. Am I picking the Suns to go to the NBA Finals? No, I'm not. Would I be surprised if they made it to the NBA Finals? I wouldn't because they have the talent. Uh, and it's going to be led by happy Kevin Durant. Look, we know that Kevin Durant and Frank Vogel didn't see eye to eye, despite whatever he may say or anybody else may say they didn't. We saw what a happy KD looked like, right? We saw that in the Olympics. He's coming in with new energy, a guy that's going to be locked in defensively. The rest will follow, and I love the addition of Mason uh, Plumlee. That is going to put a lot, a lot of uh, pressure on uh, 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 yo, uh, Nurkic. Nurkic. They're going to put a lot of pressure on Nurkic, so it's going to be a good thing.